Do you ever go on vacation where you have to pack things? Yeah. Yeah. I never went anywhere. If if you were going to go somewhere and you had to pack things, I went to Maryland. You went to Maryland. Yeah. Africa. I what? Went to the cabin. The cabin. Like, I, and I. Where would we be going if I packed these kinds of clothes? Um, uh, these kinds of clothes. In the snow. Yeah. In the snow, right? Because the weather would it's be cold, cold right? Um, next time I went to vacation house. You did. Where would we be going if I packed clothes cool. like this? Cool. Where it's going to be hot and sunny, right? And cool. Yeah, the weather. We would pack those kinds of clothes. What about these here? Rain boots, more and, rain boots, and, and, and umbrella. umbrellas, and, I want the doggy one. and another umbrella. What? I have a shark umbrella in my car. Why would we need this if it was what? What would the okay, weather be? Rain. Did Noah's ha Noah's Ark story have a lot of rain? Yeah. It did. So let me begin, okay? Here is Noah. Say hi to Noah. Hi, Noah. Okay. And his wife, in the Bible, it just said Noah's wife. She did not have a name. So I'm just going to say Noah's wife. Okay. This one here was one of Noah's sons. His name was Sham. Say hi, Sham. Hi, Sham. And here's Sham's wife. Hi, right Sham. here. Hi, yep. Hi, they didn't have names. No. And this is a funny name. His name was Ham. Hi, Ham. <laughs> that, Hi, that was Noah's son, Ham. And his wife, Ham's wife, right here. And this was Japheth. That was also, yeah, that's also Noah's son. And Japheth's also his wife, right? They were all married. So here's mom and dad, the sons and the wives all here. This is Noah's family. And God looked down on the earth after he made it, and he was getting angry. And he said, I am sorry that I even made the world because people are making bad, bad choices. I need to do something about this. So he told Noah, he told Noah, I am going to take you and your family and save your family. And I want you to build an ark because it's going to rain and rain and rain. For the rest of your life. <laughs> and Is that a rain thing? it probably will rain. We had a lot of rain. But you know what? Back in Bible times, it didn't rain. So when Noah told all of his other friends that were watching him do this, they started laughing at him because it didn't rain. And God told Noah how to build the ark. He gave him what we're called like blueprints, kind of. Kind of like blueprints, but he told him how to build the ark. And I have my ruler here. And, and I have the ruler on backwards. So let me just switch this around, guys. Okay, I did not notice that when I put this together. Let me do this. Do you know what a ruler's for? A ruler's for measuring, right? We've used rulers before in the classroom. And remember when we did a, um, remember when we did we did. We were talking about Jonah and how big he was, and we put yardsticks to measure, and we measured sharks in our classroom. Well, this is how Noah found out how, how to build the ark. God told him how high it was supposed to be. It needed to have three floors and how long it was supposed to be. Do you remember we talked about it was as long as how many football fields? Does anybody remember? Very long. How many? Field. Not one football Three. field. Three, Bennett, that's right. It was three football fields long, and it had three floors in there, and that's what God told Noah that he had to do, and he said it had to be made out of gopher wood, so he had to take a tree, and he had to saw all of the gopher wood with his saw to build the ark, because God told him exactly how to make this ark. I know in the Bible because I, I listened when I was growing up to my teachers tell me, like I'm doing right now. And then when I got older and I could read, I could read the Bible stories. So Noah started doing that. All the sons, they got their saws and they started sawing and putting this together. It took a very long time. And all their friends were laughing at them going, it's, what are you doing? It's not raining. Why do you need to build, what was it called? An ark, right? 
And you want to see the ark that he built? Okay, it's underneath my cover here. And this is the ark that oh, Noah built. Yeah, it was big and it had to have three floors in it and it had to have a front door because God said it had to have a front door. Okay, and God also said that it had to have a side door. Okay, so some time went by. The ark is built and it's out in a field. There's no water. Do you need water to make a boat float or an ark float? You do. Otherwise, it's just going to sit down. And then all of a sudden, the raindrops came. And then more rain came and thunder came and the waters started to come up and Noah knew that he had to make sure that God got all the animals on the ark safely. This happened before the rain came. So Noah was waiting for all the animals and God told the animals, get in the ark. So here comes what, two by? Two by two, the elephants got on the ark. And then God told the uh, zebras, they came two by two to get into the ark. And then came along the giraffes and they had to get into the ark. And then came along some kitty cats. Yep. Uh -huh. And then came along some bears all the animals all the animals in the entire world god talked to them and told each one of them who was going to get on the ark and then noah got on the ark and his whole family got on the ark and they all were safe before the big storm came and then God's hand came down and closed the ark. And then the rains came. And it got, it was like thunder. And then the water came up, 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 up. And the boat began to float. Oops, am I up yet? There we go. And the boat and the ark, nope, not yet, began to rock and float. And it was on the water for 40 days and 40 nights. And they stayed inside safe and sound with the animals. And then finally the rain stopped and the waters went down, back down. And Noah... Nope, I won't. Come on down, water. Let's go. There we go. The waters went back down. And when they did, Noah came back outside. I should have kept Noah closer. Let's see if we can find him in here. We'll start taking out some people here. No, that's okay. I will look because I have to read the names. There's Japheth and his wife. And there is Ham. Remember Ham? Ham? That was a silly name, and Ham's wife. And who else is in here? Sam's wife. Let's see. Oh, there's animals. They came out too. Oh, I know you're in here, Noah. Whoops. <laughs> there's Sham. Why is Noah not? I should have left Noah closer to the front door. Here is Sham, Shem's wife. And Noah, are you hiding in there? <laughs> oh, this is Noah's wife. Okay, he must be the last one to come out. So here's Noah, and what did he have to do? God wanted... He had to feed all the animals. He had to feed all the animals and on the, the ark, animals, right? And the animals had to go pee-pee on the what about the, bir what about the birds that were there that got... What did he send out? He sent out a raven, right? A he sent out a raven first. And, and Noah sent it out to find out if the land was dry enough for his whole family to come out on. Did the raven come back? No, no. no it did not come back. 
Then what did Noah send out? He sent out a dove. A dove. And then what happened? The dove came back with a olive branch in his beak, right? And then Noah knew that he could come out and they could start their family all over again because God gave us second chance, right? He gave us a second chance. Picture of a puzzle that I put together of Noah's Ark to show you how many animals went on that ark. And I have, I have the word here, give thanks, because we should be thankful that God gave us a second chance, right? This puzzle is glued together so it can never be put together or taken apart again. It was a hard puzzle to put together. But I just wanted to show you all the animals. There's a lot of animals on the world that God made, and he That's gave the animals a second chance too. And all of Noah's family, dear God, we are so thankful that you gave us second chance and to help us make good choices, and we are so thankful for that. And we give you all praise, honor, and glory. And in all of God's children said, amen. amen.